free healthcare, free education, low crime level, equality. Finland knew exactly what people need and met their needs. That's the reason why Finland is the happiest country in the world. Today I'm going to tell you about my experience as a foreigner living in Finland and if these needs are actually met here. So, stay tuned for this video. First need, free education. In Finland, it is important, it is a must for a child to start school from primary school until high school, until the child is 18, this is mandatory. And it is, of course, free for everyone. Um, the second thing, if a person wants to continue, um, for example, college or university or even master degree, these things are also for free. The loan, uh, anyone can get student loan here. And of course, they have to pay it back. So basically, people do not have, or kids, I would say, or people who are studying do not have to work and study at the same time to provide for themselves, to provide for their basic need, like food, like rent, or their basic needs, like clothes, for example. They can get just student loan and focus on their studies, and that's it. Second thing is the free health care. Everyone here in Finland deserves free health care. When it comes to, for example, dentist or checkup or general doctor or eye doctor or whatever, these are free of charge for uh, people here in Finland. Uh, of course, dentist is something different. P dentists can take up to months to get an appointment, but in general, a uh, normal doctor appointment takes like a few days to get it. And of course, if you have emergency, you can go the same day to see a doctor. So this is uh, this need for human is met here in Finland. Another part of healthcare that I find really fascinated that if a woman is pregnant, she is well taken care of from the beginning of her pregnancy. There is a special maternity ward to take care of the pregnant ladies until she gets birth and then when the mother gets birth um, she gets a box which has uh, clothes and essential things for the baby and of course that's all for free third point is equality and when i say equality it means gender equality and classes equality in finland there are no discrimination between uh, rich people higher class or low class because most people here a middle class so when i start talking about gender equality and apparently not all countries have gender equality so when i came to Finland, i was really surprised that female have higher power or higher um higher place than men Women are really respected. They can do whatever they want to do. They can be whatever they want to be. They can be police. They can be firefighters. They can go to military. There are no limits and no gender differences here in Finland. And the second thing are classes. There are no differences between rich people, poor people. People do not discriminate. Um, people who are poor, you don't find them on the street. There are nothing like homeless people. Everyone gets uh, places to stay in, places to sleep. Um, if the person is poor, they can get, um, he can get some benefit from the government, uh, makes him survive. And kids, of course, uh, these um, kids are highly respected, highly uh, taken care of by the government, by the Finnish government. Um, they get, of course, uh, monthly benefits, social benefit because they're still kids until they are 18 and they can take care of themselves and find of course job or find their own way in life. Fourth part is low crime level. So you might wonder why do I, what do I mean by low crime level? <laughs> to start off, I came to Finland and I noticed people when they go for example to a cafe by themselves they just leave their bags sometimes and then go to toilet and then they come back and they're not worried that someone will take it. Or when I was working at the airport, there are changing rooms, there are no lockers, 
so I could just leave my bag in the room in the changing room and I am 100% sure that nothing will be taken from it that's how safe it is in Finland I can go on the street 12 a.m. 1 a.m. as a girl alone with no one and I am 100% sure there is nothing gonna happen to me in case there is uh, for example domestic violence um, a woman or the person who are in danger he can basically call 112 and there are special uh, police that can take care of uh, these kind of stuff for example during the rape cases these are uh, extremely dangerous things here in Finland so if for example there is a woman who has been raped there is a 112 she can call that number and the police will start a whole investigation with doctors um, and social workers and for example if the child in the daycare uh, has been under violence at home uh, the teacher, if the teacher noticed that there's something wrong with the child, um, the police more, m might start an investigation. They might go to the child uh, house and they'll start a whole investigation because violence is not accepted here in Finland. Few more things that, in my opinion, makes Finland the happiest country in the world: that elderly they don't have to pay ta to pay taxes; they get retirement money. They got uh, special assistance. So, for example, if the person has joint pain, cannot walk, there are um, special people coming to the house, for example, to check in him every every single day. Um, they can take that person to the supermarket if the person wants to drive by himself, or they can drive that person to the supermarket. Or another thing that they can provide anything that the person needs because they elderly here in Finland are well taken care of so even when the person is is old is not it doesn't mean that the government doesn't take care of it of him anymore they are still taking taken care of another point is when it comes to disabled people or uh, mentally impaired people as well they get assistance and of course these are free of charge because these are basic human need and in my opinion Finland succeeded to provide basic human need and let us not forget about the nature here in Finland I'm talking about summer um, spring kind of, and autumn these seasons in Finland are extremely beautiful that's probably another reason why people here in Finland are so happy during these times of the year well let's not talk about winter because this is something else uh, winter is extremely cold and dark like i told you in my previous video but um during this time of the year which is summer right now uh people just enjoying the sun they happy they go swimming they're nicer i mean who's not nice when the sun is shining right so one last thing I really uh, want to emphasize here that when I was talking it's free of charge, free of charge uh, what I mean by this that as um, a resident here in Finland or as a citizen here in Finland everyone have to pay taxes and that's not a small amount of money um, each month it is automatically taken uh, from your salary uh, tax and by this money they provide the government provides for their people the education, the free health care, and all other benefits. So it is a circle. Uh, you want benefits, you have to pay for, from your taxes. That's what I mean by free. That's it for my video today. Thank you guys for listening to me. Uh, don't forget like, subscribe, and if you haven't watched my previous video, you can watch it here. Thank you so much again, and until the next video. Bye.